The reason why someone would want to hire a buyer's agent is because just if you get into a car accident and you might hire an attorney or when you go to a doctor, you go to a doctor when you hurt yourself, you want to hire an agent to help you in this process. A full-time real estate agent, that's what they do full-time, just like you have a job. Adam, what is a buyer's agent? So really simply put, a buyer's agent is any real estate professional who is hired by a buyer to help them buy a house, help them find a house, help them make an offer on a house, and help them see them through that process. And when I say hire, I don't mean hire like you're paying the agent. That's a common misconception. The buyer does not pay the realtor at any point in this transaction. The buyer's agent is paid by the, the seller that the fee comes out of the proceeds of the sale and is paid for by the seller once the property closes. So there's three key things with the buyer's agent. One is identifying the property. So you're sitting down with the buyer, you're finding out what they're looking for, what they want, what their needs are, and then you are trying to find them a property through uh, traditional means like the MLS and then through non-traditional means like knocking, maybe knocking on doors or a letter campaign or calling in the neighborhood. So there's different ways to find a house for a buyer. The second thing is drawing up an offer. So once the buyer finds a house that they want to make an offer on, it's sitting down with the buyer, showing them sales comps, other homes that have sold in the neighborhood and crafting an offer both in, t in terms of dollars and terms that we think is going to get accepted. And in this market right now, which is very competitive, having a buyer's agent is important because the buyer's agent can help craft a good offer, make recommendations on what types of things you need to do or not do to get your offer accepted. And then the third thing is once the offer is accepted, it's coordinating all the moving parts, the attorneys, the home inspector, the lenders, anyone else that needs to be part of the transaction. So it leaves all that stuff that takes all that stuff off the buyer's shoulders. And that's what is the third responsibility of, of the buyer's agent. So those are the three main things that a buyer's agent does for their client. Why does somebody need a buyer's agent? The reason why someone would want to hire a buyer's agent is because just if you get into a car accident and you might hire an attorney or when you go to a doctor, you go to a doctor when you hurt yourself, you want to hire an agent to help you in this process. A full-time real estate agent, that's what they do full-time. Just like you have a job full-time and you know what you're doing. The common misconception is well, I can just make an offer on a house and buy a house and no big deal. If you go into an open house and you want to make an, an offer on that house with the agent that is there at the house, that agent works for the seller. So guess what? That is representing the seller's needs and not yours. And so they're looking out for the seller. You want someone who's going to be looking out for your interests and your needs during this process and representing you. So that's why you want to hire a buyer's agent. You want to hire someone who knows the community, knows the process, knows how to negotiate, knows how to get offers accepted and find property. And a good buyer's agent will be proactive in finding homes. They won't just look for what's on MLS. They will go, they will literally hunt for homes. That's very important. You want to make sure you have a good buyer's agent who's going to be proactive. Hey guys, if you're liking this content and are eager to hear more, I would encourage you to keep on watching. Click on the button to subscribe and you will be the first to get new fresh content as soon as I put it on, uh, on the internet.